two. Hello everyone, I'm here to do uh, not quite an unboxing for you. I have some DC Scribblenauts figures I want to show you. Uh, I've got the whole set. Uh, I did an unboxing of a few of them and the file got corrupted, so that kind of sucks. So I don't have an unboxing, but I do have the whole set of series one and two. And with series three on the way, I figured what the heck, let me show the whole set to you guys. So anyway, as you can see there, there's uh, the first one, there's Superman. And the nice thing about this set, uh, the Scribble Knots, is they come with a base that they can stand on. So I really like that because if you've seen my other videos, you know I always have at least one figure that falls over. So it's nice that they all can stand up nice on the base there. And uh, they all are relatively easy to find. There's no like super rare figures. They're all 2 and 24 except for the ones that I'm going to point out for you. So there's Superman. Um, and then this first set. Um, they really have some of the the main characters in the DC Universe. They have some sets coming out that are going to have some of the more obscure characters, which I like. Uh, so we'll, I'll be getting those too. So anyway, that's Batman, obviously, if you haven't figured that out. I think uh, if you don't know who that is, I don't know, he must be under a rock somewhere. So there you go, there's Batman. And then I'll show you, they have a really cool Batman variant. It's Vampire Batman. I really like this one a lot. And uh, it looks pretty similar, but you can see the back, the cape is a little bit different, which is which is kind of neat. Um, and if you look on the front, uh, I don't know if you can tell in this lighting, but the, the face is a little whiter on Vampire Batman. Uh, he's got a different utility belt. So it's, it's neat. They ha I like when they do a little attention to detail stuff like that. So it's not just a, a strict repaint of the figure. So that's Batman. I guess while we're on Batman, We'll show you the Joker, and again, he's 2 and 24, so, and this is a nice rendering of the Joker. It's not the uh, Heath Ledger version from the movies, just kind of a classic style Joker there, which is neat. And this is a fun game, by the way. They have this Scribble Nuts Unmasked game you can get and play around with the DC characters, so it's, pre it's pretty fun. Um, so we also have Bizarro. And this is one of my favorite figures, too. And again, not just a repaint of Superman. The hair is a little different there. Uh, the cape is slightly different. So, again, a different, a little different sculpt of his clothes. He's got his little Bizarro number one metal on there. So there you go. That's Bizarro. And who do we have next? Uh, Aquaman. Not my favorite character, although they have done some cool things with him. And he's really fun in the uh, Injustice video game, if you've played that. He's actually kind of badass in that, so uh, nice job making Aquaman actually a cool character. Uh, and he's actually 3 in 24, so he's a little more common. Not sure why. I guess uh, I would think it would be Superman or Batman you'd be able to find more of, but apparently Aquaman is one of them. So anyway, there he is. He's, he's got little fins on his boots there. So there he is. Then let's see who we've got next. Good old Wonder Woman. She's one of the big three. So it makes sense that they would have her in here. Um, there you go. There's the back of Wonder Woman there. And uh, supposedly, well not supposedly, she's going to be in the new uh, Batman vs. Superman movie coming out. So maybe she'll get her own movie. It'd be nice if we get some female-centered superhero movies. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about that, maybe a Black Widow movie from Marvel, or maybe a Wonder Woman movie, uh, instead of just guys running around punching each other. <laughs> um, but anyway, there's Dead Man. Dead Man's one of my favorite characters. Good old Boston brand. Uh, used to be an acrobat. Uh, he's got a good sense of humor to him. Uh, there's some good Dead Man stories out there. I recommend checking him out. And, as a bonus, he glows in the dark, which is really cool. He's uh, 3 and 24 as well. So, he's easier to find, too. But, I really like Dead Man. Alright, three more. You've got Black Manta. This is one of the Aquaman villains. So, I guess since you have Aquaman in this set, it makes sense to have one of the Aquaman villains. I'm not too familiar with this character. Never really was into Aquaman that much. I don't know too much about Black Manta. There he is. Alright. And now, here are your two chase figures. The first one is Maxwell as Green Lantern, and I, I like that representation of him. 
in the Green Lantern costume there. And in the game, you can get all the different DC character costumes and dress up Maxwell, so I guess that makes sense why they have him in here. And they've got a representation for Green Lantern, who's one of the bigger characters that isn't in this set otherwise. So, there you go. All right, and then we've got stupid gold Superman. <laughs> I don't really like these gold figures. Uh, I, I don't really understand why they do gold variants. I'd much rather get a costume of something that's been in the comics. Lord knows Superman's had a million costumes, but as far as I know, he's never been gold. So, but anyway, there's the gold variant. So these two are the, the chase figures. I don't know what the rarity is. It's not listed, um, but I don't think they're too, too hard to find. So anyway, that is the full set of series one. I also have a series two video I'll be posting soon of the whole set, and I will be getting series three as well. Plus they've announced series, I think, four, five, and six as well. So there's lots more Scribble Knots coming out. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, keep on collecting. Thanks.